Hey, Poppy. Bobby. Well, I'm not going to do what you think I'm going to do. But I am going to thank you for the truth, finally. Telling us that without a doubt, you lived with Bambada willingly. And that's all right. But what ain't all right, brother, is for you to say that other people, you know, if they lived with Bam, then they was laying with Bam willingly. But brother, did you come and tell us you lived with Bam willingly? And again, thanks for the information, brother. You knock on Bam's door. You walk in, smell like booty. You walk in, shake people's hands, and their hands are sticky, you said. Brother, your mother could not have been that abusive for you to willingly leave that to run to that. Brother, was anybody answering the door with sticky hands at your mom's house, G? Brother, was anybody playing around with Vaseline and shit smelling like dookie shoe? At your mom's house. I don't think so. Brother just because you couldn't take a whooping. Because your mother chose to whoop your ass. That don't mean your mama was abusive bro. That simply means your mother probably knew. What you were into. And she was whooping your ass. Trying to save your goddamn life. And you ran away. To a worse situation. And look what happened. That's the truth. And we appreciate you for the truth. Finally. Now let's hear, let's hear him say it. Let's hear Bobby say it. Bobby, my uncle used to live with Bam for a short time when he was young. He eventually became one of his Zulu hitters. He said Bam never tried nothing with him, but I don't believe him. Your thoughts? Mm. Let me explain something to you. It's hard. It's impossible. To believe that your uncle lived with Bam. And Bam never tried nothing with him. If he stayed with him. Your uncle is a liar. If your uncle stayed with Bam. He is a liar. And he was sleeping with him. Ain't no if, ands, and buts about it. Let me explain something to you. I'm glad you asked me that. If you stayed in Bam's house. Every single day. Bam had somebody in his house. We used to go to Bam's house. Go upstairs and get, I was staying with Bam. See, this is what people don't understand. I used to sleep in Bam's house on the couch. See that? I used to stay with Bam. So See when that? I used to go upstairs, get me something to drink, or I'd be hanging out, and then when I go to go home, because when I was having trouble. I'm sorry. I got to point it out, brother. You stayed with him willingly. This was your choice. You were a runaway. So how is it now that he raped you? When this is a willing relationship. Bobby. God damn G. With my mother I was staying with Ben. When I used to run away from home. Because I used to run away from my mother. And I used to go to Bam's house. My mother was abusive. She couldn't so I used to run abusive. to Bam's house. When I used to go to Bam's house. You knock on the door. Bust it. You know I got I to gotta get graphic. Yeah, go and get graphic. But I'm going to tell you, bro, I don't care how many days your mother whooped your ass. It couldn't have never been this bad at your house, which you about to explain. Your mother so didn't put you, you through this. Door, knock on the door, go to Bam's house, right? Knock you on the did door. this. Boom, boom, boom. You open up the door. You see this right here? Vaseline. Well. You're giving the niggas that as soon as you walk through the door. Niggas' hands is greasy. Ugh. Nigga, house smell crazy. Ugh. Soon as you walk through the door and you giving niggas that night, that's why even the dudes that I never seen do nothing with Bam, I knew that they was doing something with Bam because the hands was greasy. You coming through the why you got Vaseline on your hands? You walk in the house, you go to the back room, you look, he got porn playing on the TV. So you two grown men sitting in the room watching porn? Right. Okay. If your uncle stayed at Bam Bada's house, he was playing with Bam. No if, ands, and buts about it. And well, and that's that's how the cookie crumbles, family. And it's the truth. 
it's true what you're saying. If that man was living there, he was giving it up willingly. And so were you, Bobby. You're going to have to get resigned to that fact. And brother, will you please stop calling Ron ugly nigga? God damn, bro. He was raped. He was molested. How are you constantly attacking him, bro? You calling the man ugly like that constantly. And you think that ain't gay? Bobby, you got some shit to get together, brother.